It's no use, Daniel. We haven't seen a living thing all morning. It's like the whole world had gone to sleep. It's dead. I remember a winter once when I was a boy. A great many perished. This is even worse. Well, it's going to start snowing again. Let's look over the west woods before it starts to come down. Ask shelter in your cart from the gathering storm. My wife awaits the birth of our firstborn. There's no room in the cart. This poor animal couldn't pull the extra weight anyway. Move out of the way. Get up! Do not worry, my husband. We will find shelter somewhere. These people been full up since last night. We've got to get everybody in the fort. It's our best chance to get them through the blizzard. December, and there'll be three more months of this frozen over Hades. We'll never get through it. A fine Christmas it's going to be. The ancients get through it every year with a lot less than we have. Savages. They were born to this wasteland, this godforsaken wilderness. Now, you claim to be a religious man, Elisha. You should know only a man can forsake himself. Those are mighty high sounding and respectful words, Boone. But words are not going to put food in our bellies. Well, you can't put hope in a frying pan, but that's going to be our main staple for quite a while. Now, listen to me, all of you. We're in for a bad time. 
This winter has turned out to be far worse than any of us expected. But we'll get through if we just stick together. That's why I asked you to come and stay at the fort for a couple of weeks until the main part of the storm has passed. Mr. Boone, what do we do for food? You know the early frost took so much of the crop, and the game animals, they're gone. Well, there's no fresh meat to be had. And then we've got prime trouble now without putting in an order for more. Now, we've got some meat salted away, and there might even be some fish in the creek. Well, if there are, they ain't going to get away from me. I seem to remember a speckled trout that's still laughing at you. Oh, how can you make jokes when we might be dead in a few weeks? We're not going to be dead in a few weeks, none of us. Not if we keep our heads. And in the meantime, if we can find a way to make each other laugh, all the better. I should have listened to Clint Brocker when he tried to talk me into going south with him. And I tell you, there's not enough food. You should have listened to someone. Maybe you'd have spent more time planting potatoes instead of building on that extra room. Now, there have got to be certain rules laid out, and we've got to live by them. And that means everybody. We're going to collect the meat that you brought and take it to the salt house along with ours so it won't spoil. And then we'll pass it out carefully as it's needed. What if I decide not to give up my food? Well, as long as you're here, Emmett, you'll have to do as I say. But I've got a big family to feed. Everybody will get an equal share. Now, the women and children will stay in the tavern during the day while the men hunt whatever game is left. I've seen the game that's left. They're nothing but frozen carcasses buried under the snow. And we'll be buried with them if a miracle don't happen. Well, now, don't go breaking a hamstring. By rationing what we've got, we'll get by. Can you guarantee that, Boone? Daniel, got two engines out here. I want to talk to you. One of them's a squaw. She looks froze clear through. Bring him in. Come on. We seek the one called Boone. I'm Boone. He's the one that pranced in front of my horse this morning. My name is Oneha. This is my wife, Tona. Oneha, I knew I recognized that name. You were the son of Chief Trenoy, are you not? I am his eldest son. But your wife is not a Creek. She is Tuscarora. She is the only child of Chief Grey Cloud. Of course. I remember now. This is no ordinary couple. This is a marriage of noble blood between two powerful and rival tribes. This is a marriage that finally stopped the bloodshed between the Tuscarora and the Creek. If the Great Spirit honors us with the sun, it will unite our two tribes by blood and lasting peace. You're many miles from your people. We journey to the village of my wife. An escort from her village is to meet us and take us to the flat mountain to the north. Tana awaits the arrival of our first child. The signs are that he will be born before the new moon. Your wife's expecting a child within the next few days? And she's been out in the freezing cold, trudging through the snow? We'd hoped to reach the village of her father before the child came. But the snows have delayed us. Why such a trip with your wife in this condition? Her father's an old man. We were told he would not live till spring. His dying wish is to see the son of his daughter before death comes. I hear that, that the white man Boone is a friend to his red brothers. The sky darkens and fills with white ice. I ask shelter, not for myself, but for my wife and our child. There's no room here. But she's expecting a child. There's not enough room as it is. Cincinnatus, what about the storeroom? There ain't enough room left in there to let go with a good sneeze. About the only place that ain't filled with people is the powder house. The air in there is not fit to breathe. What about the animal shelter? Now, that might be fitting. At least they'd be out of the elements. Well, who's going to feed them? The food supply is too low as it is. Well, two more mouths won't make that much difference. Well, I don't agree. And I don't believe anyone else will. No. 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 Wait a minute. It was a gray cloud that attacked my hunting party two years back. This girl's father. 
So a lot of white men was killed in that raid. Yeah. Well, now, that was two years ago. And as I recall, your party had no right to be in Great Cloud's hunting grounds. And since then, a treaty has been signed and there's been no trouble. The blood of our own is on her head. We don't want that savage. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty risky. Well, I'm not going to turn out a woman expecting a child. Take her to Shield. I'll go with you. That's some food I'm worried about. This is not food. Good morning. I brought you some hot broth. But you have young ones of your own to feed. Oh, we have plenty. And you have to keep your strength up. But good words they speak of Boone. Speak the same of his wife. The blanket you gave us last night. Oneha put it there to dull the cutting of the wind. It is all right? Of course. That's a very good idea. A gift of a blanket is a sign of friendship among my people. I want to be your friend, Tana. Now eat this before it gets cold. Oneha. No, little one. You must eat all. Our son must be strong. I go now to find some wood. Oh, there's wood behind the storehouse shelter. Take what you need. You will rest while I'm gone? Never have I known a man so big to worry about one so little. You go along, Aneha. I'll stay with Tana till you get back. Thank you. Where's the hatchet? I forgot it. We'll need it to cut through the ice. You go on, I'll catch up. honors you. Nantin, my cousin. It has been so many springs since we said goodbye. Oh. Nantin, th this is my friend, wife of the great white man called Boone. I'm honored to meet the cousin of Tana. We lived as little children together. Until Oneha took me as his wife, and I went to live with his people. How did you find us? I found your trail in the snow near the river and followed it here. I was afraid... the white man had captured you. The white man is our friend. He has given us shelter and food. Why did you come so far in the white cold? To warn you that Sashone is coming. And Grey Cloud sends Shoshona to meet us and escort us to the village of the Tuscarora. Do not trust Shoshona. Shoshona? He is a Tuscarora brave who hates the Creeks and did not wish the tribes to bury their hate and live in peace. If the Great Spirit should honor Tona with a male child, our two tribes would be united forever. Shoshona wants no male child to be born. He wants war. His heart is black and his blood boils with the fire of old hate. I have heard him swear that... that he will destroy a male child of Oneha and Tona. Oneha. 
I must return to the village before he knows I have warned you. Guard Tana well, Oneha. Nanteen! Too well. well. It's good enough to dry itself out and give us a little comfort. How'd you get out there today? Squirrel, bird, and four frozen feet. Not enough to choke a frog. Well, frogs are not a bad idea. We have to dig a few out of the banks. Well, frogs are good eating. Delicacy. How do you hope to feed so many people on such pitiful game? I'm telling you, we'll never get through the winter at this rate. If you just listen to me, I've got a plan. I already you... have, Elisha. I know you're upset over the situation. We all are. There's no sense in worrying the women folk any more than they are. You're a good man. But on the stubborn side, even hard-nosed at times, but all in all, you're a decent fellow. We're going out to the salt house to pick up some meat. Why don't you come out and give us a hand? Well, if I saw all that meat packed away, well, maybe it would give my spirits a lift. There's no doubt about it. Something's been chewing into this meat. In this piece. And this one, look at it. All this meat's been chewed into. Daniel. Dead raccoon. Well, how did he get in here? The door was locked. There must have been a loose board around the roof. It doesn't matter, the damage is done. The mouth, I saw it. What about the mouth? Raccoon died of white fever. White fever? It's a highly contagious disease carried by animals. It wiped out an entire Cherokee village not long ago. All this meat's gonna have to be destroyed and the salt house burned. Destroy the meat? We have no choice. It's contaminated, spoiled. Can't risk spreading the disease. What's worse, Boone? Dying of white fever or starvation? <laughs> meat away from us and now it's all spoiled. I should have given it to my family while I still had it. Well, what are we gonna do? Just sit here and starve to death? Now let's simmer down. Let's not lose our heads yet. We're not the first ones to find themselves in this kind of predicament and we won't be the last. Even if we survive the cold, the blizzard, what do we live off of? What do we eat? A few scrawny rabbits and an occasional squirrel. Those puny three fish it took Cincinnatus all day long to catch. Well, there's better than none. I say we head south for Louisiana while there's still time. Well, now, how long do you think you'd last in that blizzard? I say Elijah's right. Let's get out of here while we can. We'd be plumb out of our minds to try to get through that snow. Well, we'd be plumb out of our minds if we stay here. Look, I was confident enough in Dan Boone to come here, and I still have enough confidence in him to stay. Emmett, how come you're so all-fired confident? Maybe you've got some grub stashed away we don't know about, huh? You accusing me of hoarding Jeremy Kane? Maybe that's just what I'm a doing. No! What is the matter with you? What is the matter? What is wrong? 
wrong with you, Ned. If you let fear turn to hate, then there's no hope for us. All right. Then let's stick together. Tomorrow, let's all of us leave Boonesboro and head south. And leave everything we've worked for? Working for something's one thing. Dying for it's another. I told you nobody's gonna die. And another thing. How do we know those Indians you let in aren't part of some plot to trick us? What are you talking about? Tell him, Jeremy. Daniel, I saw an engine sneak it out of the fort today. That was Nanteen. You knew about this, Becky? Sorry, Dan, I didn't have a chance to tell you. The girl was Tana's cousin, and she came to warn Tana. Well, she didn't have to sneak in. We let her in. She was probably afraid. Now, I want six of you men Hold to start hunting. What's this about an Indian woman bringing a warning? What about that, Becky? Well, it seems a Tuscarora brave Shoshona isn't too happy about the news of the expected baby. Daniel. Shoshona obviously wants war with the Creeks. And Shoshana's on his way now to escort Oneha and Tana back to Chief Grey Cloud's village. The girl came to warn Tana not to trust Shoshona. You know what this means, Boone? On top of everything else, we can get mixed up in that Indian trouble. If this Shoshona finds out this Indian woman's here, he just might try to raid us. Grey Cloud won't attack this fort as long as his daughter is here. What does it take to prove to you we got to get out of here? Daniel, we just have to. We ain't got enough to eat now, this Indian thing? We'll get enough to eat if we have to hunt and fish and dig for 24 hours a day. Well, we've got three fishes now. If we can get three loaves, well, you can bless them and we'll all eat. All we got left is hope and prayer. And I won't stand still for blasphemy. Now, it took all of us to build what we've got here, and it's going to take all of us to keep it. When we came here, this was a savage land, and we tamed it with our bare hands. We can't fight among ourselves. We can't let this land turn us into savages. Maybe I'd flush some rabbits. Didn't get a thing. Mingo's still out there. Saw a pack of wolves turn on one of their own tonight. Tore him to pieces. They're starving too. You must be exhausted. Oh, oh the fire's almost gone out. I had a terrible time getting the Robertson children to sleep and forgot to put more wood on. Oh, don't bother. We'll be going to bed soon. Oh, but I wanted to keep it going till you came home. But I did keep the coffee hot. I saved you a cup. Mime and Israel, they all right? They're holding up just fine. You should be proud of them, Dan. Bad, Rebecca. Real bad. 